everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have an unboxing. This comes to us from Bella Safina. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and other crafting-related content. I would love if you would like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Choo-choo! If you've been here before, hi, welcome back! Let's all just be best friends. So, this is a big box. Um, I'm totally off frame right now cutting this like it is huge um i have been eyeing bella safina for a year i never found anything i really loved or uh i found something i liked and it wasn't available so i ordered one uh let's try to get this out oh my gosh all right i want to make sure there's no packing slip with my information. You guys, this box, like, to put this into perspective, it's still going. Oh, shit. Shoot. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to show you guys how this is packaged. This is beautiful. Um, in case you were wondering, I'm doing a nightmare for Alice. Uh, let's crack into this. This is beautiful. Um, I have never ordered from her, and this attention to detail right here is unbelievable. So, like, the ribbon has the company name, and then there are little diamonds tied onto the end. Whew, okay, so, let's see if I can get this out. I'm going to shift you guys a little bit here. Um, I'm going to more than likely have to zoom out at some point. So if I do that, my flash will turn itself off. So I am apologizing in advance for a potential issue with the lighting. But we're going to do our best. You guys, this is like super hefty too. All right. Let's see. This says, Lindsay. Thank you. And then my order number. Hopefully, I can take that off the screen for earlier in the video. Let's see. What do we have here? Some paperwork. Here is my shipping address, and uh, this says Bella Safina, Diamond Art Designs, Quality Assurance. Lindsay, thank you for purchasing A Nightmare for Alice. Your drill field is clear with no visible is issues. I hope you enjoy your kit and get some time to paint your word world beautiful. Sandy, so um, I purchased this. They had just relaunched their website. It says, designed with two purchased digital art sets from two individual artists with commercial use permission and zero product limits. Um, purchase digital art sets from digital artists with a commercial license of 500 product limits. So, there is a difference between hiring an artist or purchasing directly from an artist like your Hannah Lynn or your Sherry Baldy or your Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, if they do something for commercial art, there are different restrictions they can have. There are certain companies who a ton of their art is from commercial art licenses, so you won't see an artist name next to it. Um, but some of them do have restrictions. Like if you purchase something from Shutterstock, they have different kinds of licenses from them. So they can't all be used for uh, purposes of profiting off them um, or things like this. So, oh, that's nice. Here is an inventory tool check. Um, let's see. So this has 45 colors, including one, two, three, four ABs. And then this says 24 by 24 with 45 DMC colors and four ABs. I'm going to double check that um, real quick and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, um... I'm going to shoot her an email to let her know. When I purchased the canvas, it was listed on their website as a 60 by 60. 60 centimeters is about as far as I can fit comfortably on my desk without me feeling uncomfortable working on it or me not having space to work on it. Um, and then Sandy, the owner, had posted a photo and said, with our 70 by 70 canvas, which... That's a pretty big difference. I can tell you, I got to find a tape measure. Um, so I may have to do that as well. 
this video is going to be all sorts of disjointed. I don't know if that's supposed to be a hair tie or a bracelet. That's super cute, though. I can tell you it's crushing my wrist, but I have big wrists. Um, so here is the canvas that I am working on. A Nightmare for Alice. She is super cute. I love that this is like a darker version, but you can see Alice and the White Rabbit. You can see the Cheshire Cat, but then there's pumpkins and skulls and bats. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I am going to roll this out um, and I'm going to grab a tape measure and I'll be right back. Did I just run down three stories to go get a tape measure and then come back up? Yes, I did. Anyway, if you guys now hear a noise in the background, besides my tiny human who is singing and not napping, as she should be, whoa, um, I turned on my fan. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here before we keep going. Here is a sticker sheet of all the DMC codes. Let's see. We've got one through eight. A, no B. C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K. Okay, let's see. No weird symbols so far. I am liking it. I am liking it. All right. Okay, sorry, got sidetracked. Here is your toolkit. I have an angled pair of tweezers, a big pad of wax, a bunch of baggies, a boat, and a pen. There was also, I don't know if you want to call this an upgraded tool bag. This comes with it. I didn't pay any extra for this. But here is a pen that has stuff glued on the end. A bow and a rose. And a single placer. The business card. That's really pretty. I really like this. Shimmery. So all of the accessories match. Here's a pot oh it has wax in it that also has come on focus the roses made out of ribbon and then you have a white boat that has drills or rhinestones glued to the edge i will say one of the reasons i did want to check out a bella safina kit was simply for the attention to detail all right let's move some stuff out of the way here are our drills we'll get to those in a moment how are you guys doing this is a soft back canvas. It is poured glue. I'm going to attempt to roll her backwards off campus. Off campus? Welcome to the University of Hot Mess Express. I'll be your Professor Lindsay. Off camera. Um, I am. This is definitely one of those stiffer canvases. It is not rolling for me very easily. I can tell you from looking at the drill feel while I'm turning here that it does look good. I am, uh, let's check her out together. Oh, I thought I just dropped. So, all right, let's move you a little bit. So, here is, she's cute though, the canvas and has a legend so far at the top and the bottom. Then it has a printed border and then it has a, uh, like buffalo check border that's diamond painted Let's see. I'm not going to be able to get all of this in frame. Moving stuff over. It just says licensed digital artwork designed by Bella Safina. It does not mention who the uh, commercial license is through, which is fine. She has it. I'm sure if I wanted more detail on it, I could get it. Um, this is very crumbled, but it is poured glue, so it will flatten itself out. All right, let's see. So she said it was a 24 by 24 on that paperwork, which, let's see, am I in frame? I'm going to have to zoom you guys out a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Now the flash is off, so if it does get darker, I do apologize. So we are going to go. So it is not 24. No, it is 27 and a half. So the canvas itself says 70 by 70. Let's look on the centimeters here. Um, and it's 70 right on the nose. Um, it does look pretty square. So let's do, 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 do. I'm not sure where the 24 by 24 came from. Um, and it's 70 lengthwise. All right. I'm going to readjust. Actually, I'm not going to readjust it. This way you guys get to see. 
if you guys hear stuff falling, it probably is. This way you guys get to see more coming off and on. Um, let's check the sticky while I'm here. It's very... Oh, give me my finger back. Very, very, very sticky. Um, does it have the name of the image on here? I don't think it does. Um, I am a little bit disappointed with how crunched it is but like I said this is poured glue so I should let it if I leave it flat it will fit um I'm a little surprised because I didn't think I was going to be able to get this much on my desk like you can see I have a little bit of room on either side but the problem is I have a chair we all have chairs right so if I scroll too much to the left or too much to the right to work on that particular side I hit the legs of the table I also have a recording arm. You can see the base of it here. And that's what I use to not only record, but also if I'm watching streaming YouTube or TV or whatever. And if I put it all the way to the side of the table over here, it doesn't reach far enough. So those are first world problems. But let's talk about the canvas itself. The face on Alice, she looks good. I'm a little bit nervous by the way this is rendered here. It looks very piggy nose-esque, but we'll see how that translates um, for it being this size, I'm kind of surprised at how muddy some of the details are. Uh, the Cheshire, I'm sorry, the Mad Hatter. This is an interesting combination because this is the White Rabbit wearing the Mad Hatter hat. His hat is just all a blur. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's bring that up closer. Um, like I can see that it's the purple hat and here's his little tag. But I don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm guessing a spider web is coming off. But his face looks nice. And then the teacup looks good. Not a lot of detail in the uh, pocket watch. But like this little bat. This little bat looks totally adorable. I'm really curious what the two original pieces of artwork looked like before they were melded together. I love the tiny little skulls all over the place. This Cheshire cat is super cute. He's got his ear pierced. He looks good. Um... It's just some of these smaller details that seem to be a little muddy. Like, this clock here looks much clearer than that clock. And that might just be my eyes playing tricks on me. But let's look at the drill field. Um, so I can see... Oh, God. I'm knocking things over left and right. See, this is the thing. Like I, I love that this is not massive. But I, when I purchased it, I was excited to purchase it at a 60 by 60 because I knew it would be comfortable. This is one of those things. It's not like a 70 by 50. It's a 70 by 70. So no matter which way I have it laying on my desk, it's going to take up more room than I really have able to work. These symbols are much clearer in person. This is an A in a circle and then a D, a C, a D, a C, things like that. Um, it is a little bit harder to read on camera. And I, I'm thinking that's just because the flash is now off again. Um... Which, come on, phones, can we make can we make a an option that when you use the zoom that the flash still stays? Because it's super annoying. But the drill field looks nice. I'm happy with, happy with the symbol quality. Um, let me flip this over and we'll take a look at the drills. All right, so um, this SD065, I believe it's on the canvas. I'll look at it when I flip it over. It is right there on your sticker sheet. That way you can separate your drills from your canvas and store them separately. Some people like to hang their canvases or lay them flat. Um, I usually keep all of my stuff together. This did not come in a branded box. If you took notice, it came in a big organza bag. Um, and that might not be great for me, my purposes, the way I restore this. I'm gonna lose this bag. I am a mess. Oh, I can tell you these drills are beautiful, though. Okay, let's... Okay, they are in DMC order. Ooh. Uh, you can see they are branded right on the drills. So I'm not going to go through them too intently. Three bags of 168. I fixed the camera, in case anyone was curious. <laughs> and put the, the flashback on, and now I feel like it's so zoomed in. <laughs> All right, let's go. One, two... Three, four, five, five bags of 310. Lots of grays and purples in this canvas. Um, interesting. All right, so we've got some, totally out of frame, sorry you guys. 
flesh tones and greens, more purples. This has like every purple in it. But it doesn't have 550, does it? Yes, it does. Sorry. And I apologize. I guess I didn't realize how much I zoomed back in, so I am totally out of frame for a lot of this. All right, I'm just going to... Here's the white. And then here are our three ABs. If you do not know what an AB is, it is an Aurora Borealis. It is a regular drill that has this super shiny coating. You can see the shiny coating right here. It reflects all the colors around it. So you have a 906 AB, which is a green. And then you have a 3078, which is a pale yellow. And then a 3811, which is a very light blue. Um, kind of surprised. Not at the amount of ABs but the amount of each one of these ABs. So let's flip this back over and let's see. Um, let's get our little handy dandy sheet here. So we are looking for this symbol, this symbol, and this symbol. So I'm gonna have a little bit in the green details in the cup, in the stars, totally not even in frame, God. So there's some in the eyes for the green. There's some in the teacup and in the stars. I, can you guys see that? I feel like I'm still out of frame. Let's see. There we go. That worked a little bit better. So in the eyes and in the greens, like in the stars and the teacups. And then we need to find the A in the circle and the blue. Let's see. I feel like I say this in every video, but this is by far the most daunting part, is just finding. So, the blues are going to be in her eye. And interestingly enough, she is a purple Alice. She is not wearing any blue at all. What was the other symbol I said I needed? The A. The A in... Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go. So we've got some in her hair, some in the pumpkin. So that should be nice in terms of, like, I like that there's some in her eyes and in her hair. Um, and then the little green accents will pop. That's really cool. Uh, I might want to add some crystals to this canvas. I'm not 100% sure. My child is singing all sorts of things over there. So if you guys hear her. Um, hi, Briar. So anyway, I think that's it for this one, you guys. I don't know what else there is to share. Um, the drill quality, from what I could tell, looked pretty good. These are rounds. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Um, I am not really sure how Bella Safina truly works overall as a company. Like I said, I've been trying to get images for quite some time, and either the ones I like, they don't have available, and then they change the way that you could sign up on a waiting list as opposed to waiting for something to come in stock. Um... I think that they do now just order X amount, and then when they are in stock, they put them up on the website. Uh, like I said, I ordered it the day that they changed over their website. So I did have a little bit of difficulty navigating it. This is just me from, like, I know I am in my 30s, but I am very, very, very tech challenged. And I struggled immensely trying to figure out how to put in somebody's, it wasn't an affiliate code. I don't know. It was somebody's code so I could give them credit that I came and then there was a $10 off coupon that it said, if you signed up for this email, you get the coupon. However, I never got the coupon. I got the coupon like two hours after I checked out. So I did message them on Instagram. They were able to adjust that on um, my invoice and refund me the $10. Um, their stuff is quite pricey. I will say that. Yes, you do get the added bonus of like the beautiful border along the sides and the top of the canvas and the extra added accessories. But just like I said with the DIY Moon Shop unboxing, which I will link that up in the eye if you guys have not seen that, I don't need a higher price point to get things that aren't really that useful or needed for me. I don't need a blinged out tray it's pretty but is it worth me having a price tag of what i paid um this canvas since i am talking about price and everybody has their own opinions obviously it wasn't too much for me because i purchased it um it was 58 dollars and then 12 dollars and 35 cents for shipping shipping is based off of your location so um if you live further away 
or you're getting more canvases, it will be higher than somebody who lives closer. If you know anything about USPS shipping, you literally get zones. And so whatever zones border your zone, that has the lowest shipping rate. Um, and then it just goes up exponentially based off of weight and location. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. She is beautiful. I do really like, I am overall very happy with this canvas. Um, and I'm excited to see this one work up. It does look like it has a nice combination of huge chunks of color blocking and then like little kind of confetti, but this is an unmanageable kind of confetti. Um, so we will see. Have you guys picked out your canvas for Alice in the Winter Wonderland yet? I don't know if I have or not. I thought I did, but I might be changing my mind. So without further ado, I'm going to skedaddle and get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record all my tiny human is sleeping or like today, sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.